Throwback and welcome back to a brand new episode of Mercenaries. If you are new here, please consider liking, subscribing, and turning on the bell notification so that you never miss an upload from me. Link to the previous episode, the series premiere, top right hand of your screen, where we introduced ourselves. Okay, please, if you haven't watched, three, two, one, spoilers from here. Yeah, so where we introduced the world of North Korea and everything that is going on and the factions and the three playable characters that we could choose from. And now what's going on essentially. Anyway, so, so far we've only captured two cards out of the club section in the deck of 52 and those are The number th two and the number five, I think. I think. I think. Anyway, we did say that in the previous episode we were gonna pick it up from here and go after the rest of the other cards that we have intel on and where they're located, which is what we're gonna start by. I think we only have to get two more, if I'm not wrong, and then we can go. Uh, handle some allied nation missions and some South Korean missions. I'm basically going to follow the order in which we were introduced to them. So this episode we're going to get the two cards, the two remaining cards. And then we are also going to get the allied and South Korean missions done as well. And then we're also hell? going to, uh, what's it called? Get their cards that we get from those missions now right here is the allied marsh by the way every time you load a game you start at the allied marsh it's kind of like the medical center anyway so this guy is south of uh pyongyang river which is where we are right now so that's convenient and this guy is north of heiji so let's just get them like right now The guy is normally somewhere here. Where we are right now is definitely south of Pyongyang. <laughs> the names of these places. Man. There's a number card nearby. Check your radar for the location. As you can see, we have already been informed by the ever lovely Fiona that they are right here and apparently there's a serious war happening, oh lord. Yeah, so, if you did not know what was going on, it's all out war everywhere and... I did not expect to drive in the middle of our battle, but... You live and learn, you live and learn. So yeah, where we are, it's very dangerous, obviously. But um, we are here because we want that a hundred million dollars. Anyway, the guy is up here. That's why I brought backup. And it's now time for me. To, I'm gonna leave my backup there because I don't want them to get hurt. Okay, that guy is down. Time for me to take out this guy. He's out. He's out. Okay. Taking him out. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. It's fine. It's fine. Just gonna do that. And now that's the three of clubs. Okay, I'm gonna pick out the light machine gun because I'm out of bullets. Anyway, let's call for an e extraction and have him moving. Roger, this is Expo 2. I am in the air. Uh, 
This way we can keep on building our intelligence as we continue uh, progressing in the story. I see your smoke. I'm at the LZ. Yeah, sure. Take your time. Take your sweet, sweet time. I haven't even thought about thumbnails for this episode because it's kind of hard to figure out how to make thumbnails from an old PlayStation game, but ah, I'll figure something out. Anyway, we are done with that. Time to head over to North IG. So that's the three of clubs done. Time Colonel Garrett is going to be happy to hear about this. As you can see, whenever we capture one throw them to jail so let's go get the four clubs at north heju then you can go do some allied missions as required i'm dude stop it so i'm gonna check the map i think heju is somewhere down here yeah it is okay let's check the mail uh North of Heiju. So, um, if I can scroll back, uh, so we just have to turn back and go s north of Heiju and see what we find. All right, me and my trusted backup, backups, if I should say that. Then we can head back to the DMZ and see Colonel Garrett, head of the Allied Nations, and see what other tasks he might have for us. Um, this episode we're only going to deal with the Allied Nations, uh, the South Korean missions, and as well uh, the cards that we get information about. And uh, let's just make sure we're on the right path. Yes, we are. Check your radar for the location. Alright, so this is where he is apparently. Alright, let's go get this guy. Okay, dude, I don't want to shoot you. Oh, this is so wrong. I do not want to shoot him. I need to take them all alive. Or at least I want to. Stop shooting him. Awesome. We have him captured, but our health is not looking none the wiser. Okay. Uh, how about there? Sure. Uh, how about there? Sure. Um, how about here? Sure, how about here? Jesus Christ, man. Where do you want us to run? Okay, how about there? How about there? I swear this is becoming problematic. Dude, you're telling me a chopper can't land anywhere near here. Finally! Alright, let's get this dude wherever I left him. I see your smoke. I'm at the LZ. Yes, 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 my backups. I can hear you honking the horn. I'm coming. I need to learn. I need to load up this dude, then we can go back to the HQ. Okay, Alright. And 
and that's another one captured successfully and that journalist is loving filming it all right that'll be worth something to the allies that's pretty much everyone oh sorry no 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 get back in get back in Okay, yeah, so that's the four. And it's time to get back. Yeah, I think we just move straight on, actually. Alright, now let's head over to the Allied Nations area. Anyway, if you're new here, I like playing games, as you can see. I like mixing it up with some new gen, but mostly classic games, you know. We, if you haven't not noticed we finished uh, the Mafia series as well so if Mafia is something that you really like or are interested in we have a full informative and largely entertaining playlist up on the channel as well and also so many other types of content that I'm pretty sure you're gonna like anyway so Mostly this is what I believe happens in every kind of place, every kind of region, every kind of country rather than some war zones. Uh, keeping the peace is normally the main objective, but you will always find some microaggressions happening here and there. Anyway, right now we are in the DMZ, which is the demilitarized zone. And this is where the Allied Nations are mainly situated. Now we just have to go to base, meet Commander Garrett and have ourselves a mission. I'm not even sure I remember what some of these missions are. I mean, some of them are practically easy. Like, there are some which you are literally have to babysit someone. And by babysit, I mean you drive them around. And then, the next moment you are doing a mission that requires you to... Okay, this vehicle is not going anywhere. Anyway, we are at the Allied HQ. So let's go meet Commander Garrett and we... We are really short on health. Ah, we'll be fine. Head on in. As with always, whenever you enter an HQ, have no comment at this time. you have no, no weapons. General Song's status hasn't changed. Miss Livingston, when I know something, you'll be the first I tell. <laughs> now that's not a very ladylike thing to say, is it? Back for more, huh? Takes a lot of cash to go after bad guys solo, I guess. I don't mind giving you work, that's for sure. Song's army's being reinforced by troops coming out of their underground tunnel network. Now we need someone on the ground acting as eyes and ears for our smart bombs. If you can find Song's tunnels, our airstrikes will blast them to kingdom come. Okay, sounds easy enough. Those tunnels let Song's men move where they want and strike where they want. Without your help, I won't have much of an army left. I wonder if there's normally a uh, direct order that shows how somebody can get uh, promoted in the military in the army. Is it like you just survived so many wars that they they are like sure? take the position or is it something like you show great aptitude for strategies I don't know but I've always found it interesting anyway we've been given two surgical strikes I hate dealing with these tunnels you never know how many troops you're fighting no problem as soon as they pop their heads out they're gonna get a nasty surprise yo dude I need backup let's Thank roll you. I like picking up these guys because at least you get to have somebody help you in 
in a fight that you don't want to be in. Uh, right, so there are three tunnels, but you are given two surgical strikes. Excellent. Out here getting stiff. Anyway, let's head over and help these guys out. As you can the North see, Koreans and Allied forces are fighting near your position. We finally captured last time on your brave Allied assault. And there's gonna Here's be a, a big tip. fight. Surgical strikes are great for taking out hardened structures like barracks, Making hangars, fire. or tunnel entrances. To Charge. use a surgical strike, you'll need to select it from your support menu. Ours. Once selected, you can designate a target using a hacked satellite feed. I'm gonna try to do this. Without being caught. Roger, target received. Right. Bombs free. Charge! Good job. Use the same technique when you want to destroy other hardened structures. I'm honestly gonna try to do this without getting into trouble as much as possible. And as much as I'd love to help them fight, we have another important mission. I think I ran over one of our guards, but it's because I was trying to escape a rocket launcher. <laughs> oh man. Alright, so we've gotten some intel on the deck of 52 as well. So the 10 of clubs, he's somewhere southwest of the DMZ. Okay. So uh, this is the DMZ where we are. And he's somewhere southwest of it. I mean, we could go and get him now. Or we could go to Kaesong and do the next mission. Then get the two of them in one field soup as we finish the episode. You know what? Yeah, that's even better. We know, we know anywhere where we will be going. Run! Crap! <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Alright, let's head over to K Song and do this other mission. Then get those two cards and call it an episode for episode two. As I did say, episode one was the only one which was going episode one and the series finale are the ones that I love having uh, extended episodes for. Dude, why am I still holding a laser for? <laughs> Park Sarangwanimkeso, Tangshinul Gidari Shmida. Yeah, whatever that means. Hey, look who's back, Kim. It's everybody's favorite mercenary. The Chinese have taken Pyongyang Airport. Now that pisses me off for a whole mess of reasons, but before I do anything about it, I need someone to go in and extract a member of my staff they're holding for questioning. Guy's got a head full of intel. And the last thing I need is the Chinese sweating it out of him. Okay, we're basically going to break somebody out of prison. Standard stuff. A lot of people want a slice of the DPRK's pie. Well, they gotta get in line.
Yeah, the loading screens are taking a bit of time. Ah, here we are. This guy Buford sounds like a real character. <laughs> Typical American ex-CIA burnout. Believe me, they have it more than my share. Okay, I don't even know where I'm supposed to be go. Oh yeah. We are headed to the airport and it's kind of far. Now I will say this, the only thing that I do not like is The agent this. is being held in one of the hangars at Pyongyang Airport. Bring him back safely. The only other thing that I've never liked about this older games is you never had uh, travel skips, so that's the only gripe I have with this game. It can send you to from one corner of the map to the other and you'll have to drive there. Alright. I think I've gotten the gist of the direction I'm taking. Now there was this part that I wanted to explain. There are some regions which you're going to see that are highlighted red or are highlighted blue. Now areas that are, are highlighted red are zones that are controlled by North Korea and you don't want to be there because you're gonna get destroyed in an instance. Oh, we're not lost. Now, areas which are highlighted blue are still restricted, but they are restricted by your friendly factions that you're working for. Your allied nations, your South Koreans, your Chinese, your mafia. So, but when you get in there, they will also attack and pulverize you. It's just that they will send you warning shots to leave. That's the only difference. Anyway, our scout is taking damage and we are not even in the airport yet. Which is insane. Anyway, here we are. Now, uh, there's only one flip side to entering these areas highlighted in blue. And that is if you are in the faction level. So, for instance, this region of Pyongyang Airport belongs to the Chinese. I cannot enter in here without any vehicle that is not Chinese. As you can see, some gates will only open to vehicles belonging to a particular faction. Now, once we are inside like we are, we aren't supposed to do anything fishy, anything suspicious that will make us lose our disguise. For all they know, I am one of them. Anyway, he was not in that first hangar, so we go to a different one. Look at the size of that thing. We also get to collect this. There's one. I've literally located you. Nah! Did you? Thanks for finding me. Let's get out of here. Okay, bring the agent back to the South Koreans. I was really waiting for you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, that was a whole tank. Anyway, we are, in, we are back in neutral territory. You can't let the Chinese follow you back to K Song. Lose them. They are not following me for anything. They don't even know that I'm the one who broke him out. And that's why we choose to play with Jennifer Moy because she enters into her disguises very easily.
Oh no no no, that's a dangerous place we are going to. Oh yeah, they actually are following me. I did not think of that. Okay, we're gonna have to find a different path out of here. Since that one is locked off. That one is blocked off by the other Chinese. Oh man, this... Okay, fine. And this is gonna take much longer than necessary to be honest and that's because of my ineptitude <laughs> oh boy see violence it's a good thing it means there is no broad oh bloody hell how many roads did these guys block okay fine we turn around again hopefully they have not yet blocked the final one leading across if they have we're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to try and go across it one or the other. Oh lord, I almost ran over the civilian. Alright, it hasn't been blocked off. Finally, finally, finally. Safe and sound on our way out. Just what you love to see. Dude, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, we turned too soon. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, we continue moving. I think I am so close to Kaiso. Here we are. Alright, now let's go get the two cards that we're gonna get intel from, from these two missions we've done. And we can use that to end our episode. As you can see, we now have two guys to go for. So the six is currently south of the Russian mobs HQ. That's just where we were. And the other one is southwest of the DMZ. So those are the two guys you're going to be going for. 
right now and then we can call it an episode oh yeah give me the covert smg definitely Oh man, there's still another South Korean mission. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I really thought we were done with them. Okay, it's fine. I'm gonna make a quick cautionary save and then you're gonna do the next South Korean mission. I really thought that we were gonna be done with the South Korean missions, but turns out we aren't. So let's just make that cautionary save, do this South Korean mission. Then we can finish everything off Hey, Hey, look who's back, Kim. It's everybody's favorite mercenary. Lee Choi runs his rackets out of Incheon, a city I got my eyes on. Unfortunately, it's pretty obvious to everyone involved that we're planning on moving in, and Choi is getting ready to hightail it out of there. You get your ass in there, bag him for yourself before he splits. And any of Song's men you happen to annihilate on the way in just makes my job easier. All right, so he's given us the location of the kings, king of clubs, which is quite fantastic some of those prisoners are women and children ain't you got a heart all right so this is going to be one of those terribly hard missions but it should be a treat which means we might be able to finish this faction by episode 4 by the looks of it which mean i'm not complaining So I do not I don't think I remember exactly what this mission entailed but it's probably going to be hard Oh boy Boy these North Korean generals really are a sweet group of guys I know worse believe it or not <sighs> Just get Lee Choi all right Yogiro Odiga Dude, I need backup. It looks like it's going to be a hard mission. Okay, let's see where we are headed to. So straight left and then right. Easy enough. This is gonna be either epic or either big failure. It's one of the two. I do not know why he had to run all the way back there, but it's whatever. And I also have to let it be known, you cannot get into disguise if you take a vehicle and use another people's army, another faction or rather if i should say that you cannot use another faction in a different vehicle and expect to go into disguise that doesn't work but it's not like i really care about it anyway all right we are in the war zone as you can see left my guys they can fend for themselves I have a bigger mission to accomplish and being in the tank keeps me safer for longer <laughs> plus we needed the tank because like in all the other missions that I've described before there are certain areas that you can't waltz into without a vehicle that
کوین رو آنلاین داریم که دار تانک از کامیو تو دستروی می، ادرا دار دستروی ات فاست. Anyway, this tank is my mode of transport, so I'm gonna leave it parked right there. I now need to take out all these guys. And then we get into this and we put it on the middle. There we go. I'm still rearming. To set up chain reactions. And then we have another one right here. We only have one more to destroy. So we get back into our tank and get into disguise. Well, at least that's the idea anyway. And since there is no North Koreans to spot me enter the tank, I believe we are fine. At least I hope we are. I think this is close enough. You're really looking good on health as well. She's quite awesome. Anyway, time to get these stealth bombs. Oh, just made it in time. Excellent. say this you do not have to wait until the helicopter lands he is just right there where the circle is plus if you do it right now it makes it easier for you to capture him alive so that's what we are going to be doing wait are we leaving the base yeah i think we are Need to turn around. And we are disguised as a North Korean. You see, this this is why. This is why Jennifer Mui remains undefeated. After causing so much havoc, we are still just fine. Gotta love it. Now the guy we are looking for is inside here. So the first thing that we shall be doing is 
bringing in this tank. He's on the roof. You need to find a way to either get up there or get him down. Yeah, that was bad mistake. Okay, so this is him. We just have to get down. gonna hide out here. Whoa. Oh boy, we have to load him on the other side. Alright, we're done. And we are done with this contract. So that contract has given us the king of clubs as well, which is fantastic. And that also means we are definitely done with the South Korean missions, which is also very fantastic. As you can see, the king of clubs has been taken out as well. And our intelligence level is almost more than half, which will unlock the S contract. But as for now, we only have to go get the 6 and the 10, and then we'll be done with this episode. So. Uh, let's run quickly and get that sorted, shall we? Wait, where are the choppers? Ah, oh, there they are. It's, it's actually going to be even way easier for me to do these other two guys when I have the chopper. So that makes me even doubly happier. The Russians who walk among you are a plague on the nation. Right. Now, let's see the directions which we are going. Uh, one, what? Let's see where these other guys are. This one is south of Pyongyang around the Russian mobs HQ. And this one is in southwest of the DMZ. So we actually headed towards that guy. Which is fantastic. I do not know why our chopper sounds like that, but it is whatever. Alright, it should be somewhere. There's here. a number card nearby. Yeah. Check your radar for the location. And the best part about it is I am disguised as not anymore. Yeah, not anymore. Oh man, now a chopper. Dude, you are... Dis you are responsible for destroying my chopper. Dude, could you not? Iframes, bitch. <laughs> Where is that chopper that I saw? Okay, it's gone. Dude! How- why are you taking my chopper, you idiot? Dude, 
that? What am I supposed to use? Harsh language? <laughs> Dude, man the weapon. Oh, Jesus Christ. Man, this sucks. Is down, dude. I need an extract. Roger, this is Expo 2. I am in the air. I am taking enemy fire. How are you taking enemy fire? There's no enemies around. This one, All right? I see your smoke. I'm at the LZ. Safely and we are in. Done. Colonel Garrett is going to be happy to hear about this. Okay, so that's the six of clubs done as well. Now we have to go all the way to the DMZ on foot. You know what? I actually don't even mind ending the episode here. We'll just start the next episode uh, by going to southwest of the DMZ, getting the 10 of clubs. I think it's the 10 of clubs we have left. Yeah. So we'll start off the next episode um, from this point where we'll be going southwest of the DMZ to get the 10 of clubs, do the Russian and the Chinese missions as well get the seven eight and nine the queen and the jacks hopefully in that episode and then from then on episode four we can go after the ace and do some community races as well so with that being said uh i think it's quite safe for us to stop right here so i'm gonna just say let's just save this game and we'll pick it up from here so until next time Stay safe, be smart, be kind, tell somebody you love them today, and I'll catch you.